Whoops, let's go back to Sage, all right? Reset. I'm going to find n as a variable, n equals var, and just type that in. <clears throat> now I'm going to try to solve. S-O-L-V-E. 1 divided by, well, this can be log, L-O-G, of n, <coughs> base 8, uh, plus 1 divided by log, L-O-G, of a quarter, 1 divided by 4, base n. Double equal sign indicating an equation, minus 5 over 2. And we want to try to solve that for n. All right, let's see what happens. My suspicion, Sage, wow, Sage solved it, all right? Exactly what we got, all right? Now, sort of remarkable. I, to be honest with you, I didn't think it was going to solve that. And it's always nice to um, be surprised by software. And I, the reason I'm surprised by software sometimes is I'm not that good at using software. So when I see something working, I'm saying, gee whiz, that a miracle. Uh, I remember the first time I printed a document, uh, and this goes back a long time ago, of course, that I was at, it was on a laser printer too, which was you know, really remarkable. I, I just, I, I, I picked up the print job, and it was at a, a university, and I remember the, the, the tech behind the counter, they had bins where you picked up your printed work. He saw me, it's almost as if I, I saw magic for the first time. And I, he, he commented about it. It certainly is not magic, by the way, that things work. It's not magic that a printer works. It's not magic that your phone works. However, for, um, for a lot of people, technology does appear to be magic. It's indistinguishable from magic, right? How did it do that? I don't know much about the code base of Sage, but I do know Sage is open source, and you can look into it if you want, all right? I do appreciate any time you put into this, though, and it's really important that you do put time and effort into your studies. Thank you.